Friends, I am here with a brand new release from Renee of Paris. This is Kaysen in the color Lilac Silver R. Kaysen has a machine made basic cap and comes in over 20 colors. So while this one is a fun fashion color, she comes in a lot of other colors. She's a short, sassy style. And did you know that when these are with these basic cap wigs, you can actually change the direction of the part and you can change how she lays because you're not dealing with any monofilament. That's a bonus tip that I didn't know when I first started wearing wigs and maybe you didn't either. If you want to know more about Kaysen, stick around. I would like to thank Renee of Paris for sending me Kaysen so that I could show all of you. They sent me all of their new release. There were four of them, I believe, and I was able to make a video on all of them. I'm so thrilled to be able to show you all of these different styles. Um, this one has is made with regular synthetic. This launch, in this launch, I should say, this one is the only one made with regular synthetic. I will link this piece at the name brand wigs website down below in the description with a 30% off coupon code that will save you some money on this piece, but you can purchase it from any retailer that carries Renee of Paris. I just happen to love name brand wigs and they've offered me a coupon code to share. So that will be linked below. Let's take a look at this one from all sides. All right, this one is so darling, so fun. I had so much fun figuring out how I wanted her to lay. Now the bangs are too long for me. They always are. I have a two and a half inch measurement. Most of the time they're too long. So I struggle a little bit with helping these wigs to look their best in these reviews because I can't get them to lay quite right. But I have a video showing you how I take a thinning razor to trim up bangs on my synthetic wigs. It works flawlessly and honestly I think it's a foolproof way so if you struggle like I do all you need to do is take a little thinning razor and trim up these bangs and it would be darling. I just can't see you guys so I'm gonna sweep it but you definitely can trim up those bangs. Now this I had said in the beginning this is a basic cap otherwise known as a machine made cap so let's just take a look at that right away. So that's what it looks like. We've got ear tabs with a lot of hair sewn in on them, open wefting, not an extended nape. We've got pull adjusters, bra strap type adjusters. That's the cap. Really lightweight, um, not heavy. And what I want to talk about quickly is the nape. So on short wigs, I always tell you to know what size, whew, you can also make it spiky apparently. <laughs> you should know what your nape, what length of a nape on a wig you need in order to not show your bio hair. The nape is this down here. This has a three inch nape. I always say two inches or less. So I do think this nape is plenty long to give pretty much everybody good coverage unless you have a super low hairline. So just keep that in mind if you're new to wigs. Look at that nape measurement on these shorter pieces and then eventually you'll learn what length nape you need. But also keep in mind, if you buy a color that blends well with your bio hair, that's not as important because if you see a little bit of bio hair, it's gonna blend and it's gonna look natural. That's what I do with my side hair here. I have a kind of a low hairline on the side and I keep this hair longer so that I can blend it with my wigs. So if I don't get great coverage on a wig, but the color or the root is close enough, then it doesn't matter. The root on this one is close enough to my bio hair that I can pull out my bio hair, blend it with the wig on the sides, that will allow me to do full tucks, and it just looks so natural. So another thing to be aware of when it comes to wearing wigs. So like I said, this is regular synthetic, so you're not gonna take any meaningful heat to this, but you can take a clothing steamer, so if you do need to redirect any fibers, or you wanna make it a little flatter, or you can even add curl with a clothing steamer on a regular synthetic. Look at how she smooths down as well. I do think this is gonna have a lot of flexibility. You can make her nice and smooth, sleek, and tuck her, or you can really get in there and mess up these 
fibers, kind of spike them out, change direction. You can use some styling cream. You can put a headband on with her. I just think there's a lot that you can do with short wigs like this if you're willing to play with them. This one does have a little bit of permatease, not a lot, some permatease right here on the very top and right here at the crown. I'm not really feeling any permatease back here. So it's just enough to hide the cap and give it a little bit of volume, but it doesn't have a lot. So if you're looking for a wig, you like big, big hair, and you're used to getting into these short wigs and really judging up that permatease, this one doesn't have a lot of it, but it does have some. So if you're looking for something with no permatease, this one's probably not the one for you. But I think they've done such a good job that it's gonna work for a lot of women who are looking for short hair. Let's talk about fit. So Renee of Paris, I find a little bit of variation in how the wigs from the Renee of Paris line fit. Some of them I think run really true to average and, and I can cinch them in, I get extra cap on the top, and sometimes they don't run as true to average. I would say that this one is true to average on the top. I am getting extra cap up here, but on the circumference, it is not. It is, I don't have it, I wanted to double check, I don't have it cinched in and it's fitting my circumference really snug. So I have a 21 and a quarter circumference. There is a little bit of stretch on this one. I've actually had stretchier wigs than this. Um, so I would say this is running a little smaller than average. I think it would be, t I used to have a 22 inch circumference before I lost a lot of weight and I think it would be tight if my circumference were still 22. Now, tight, is subjective. Um, some people like their wigs a little tight. It helps you feel secure. Other people are irritated by tightness. Maybe you get headaches. So for me personally, it's fitting comfortably right now. I would not want it any tighter at all at 21 and a quarter. So do with that what you will. It's really hard for me to make re fit recommendations sometimes because if it's sort of on the border, but I don't think this one is running as true to average as some of the other Renee of Paris wigs I've tried. All right, I think I covered everything and certainly played with her a lot. Let's talk about this color, Lilac Silver R. This is a gray, basically it's a rooted gray with some lilac kind of purpley tones. It is not a purple wig, but it's a hint of soft lilac and it's gonna show up a lot better in some lighting versus others. And then we've got a shadow root, not a, not a heavy root. You know, I always hear from my wig sisters who have gray hair and don't like rooting on gray wigs. You don't think it's realistic, but so many of these companies put rooting on gray wigs. So I did a little asking around and I've even talked to some wig sisters who are going gray, but you're not fully gray yet and having a little bit of a root, a little bit of a darker color, actually mimics your bio hair really, really well. So I think on this one, it almost looks like you're going gray, but you added a little bit of lilac to your hair to give it a fun pop of color, but it's not significant. And I'll be honest with you guys, I'm looking in my mirror right here, I don't see any lilac. So I think in some lighting, it's not gonna look like it has purple in it, and in other lighting, it will. Beautiful color though, really fun color. Let's get outside so you can see this color outside. And thanks once again to Renee of Paris for sending me Kaysen. I love showing you guys all new styles and help you get good information so you can make good purchasing decisions. I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, here we go, Lilac, lilac Silver R. Not the first time I have reviewed a wig in this color. It's a beautiful gray with lilac. Such a pretty, pretty color. There's that root. Such bright sunlight. All right, there you go. Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Here are a few videos I think you might enjoy. Go ahead and click on one and watch.